Now, I don't know if you've heard, but Midland just partnered up with Jeep, and apparently Jeep is really rubbing off on Midland. Well, let's find out if that's true. Oh, uh, look at that. We know that in this world of overlanding and off-roading, there is a divide between Jeep and Yoda drivers. And there are people who are truly, truly hardcore and dedicated to their brand. Like, I will only drive a Jeep and nothing else, or I will only drive a Toyota and nothing else. Now, I don't know if you'd like to take part in that kind of thing, but if you happen to be a Jeep lover, then this video is for you because today I have a product that you can rub in the face of your Yoda friends, if you will. Now, me personally, I don't like to get involved in that kind of mess. That's just drama I don't need in my life. Besides, I own both a Toyota and a Jeep, and I love both vehicles. I just want to make sure that's clear so you don't think I'm taking sides here. But I think a healthy, and keyword here is healthy, rivalry is a good thing because it pushes each other side to be better. Let's just not be elitist is what I'm saying. Anyway, rant over. Let me get off my soapbox. The important thing is there is a huge announcement happening in the world of overlanding today. Midland, the off-road radio company that I have loved working with for the last year or so, just partnered up with Jeep and together they created a special edition Jeep branded X-Talker two-way radio. Let me show it to you. All right, let's first talk about this case. And I know the case isn't the important thing, but off the bat, you can already tell this is special edition. If you're a Jeep lover, I mean, this has to excite you. You have this black case with like this green Jeep Grill logo on the front, like that's really dope. And this case, just the case already by itself, they already added some special touches to it to make this really feel like special edition. Like we all know that Jeep loves using red accents on all their vehicles. Like no matter what color vehicle you have, Jeep likes to use those red accents here and there. And what they did with this case is they put red accents in it also. So you have this black case, green logo, but then they put like red zippers all around this thing. So it has that Jeep feel and touch to it. Great color combination, black with the green and then the red piping all around. It just looks really, really good. Now up here you have this compartment. You can throw a bunch of random stuff that you might need in here, but when you do get this kit, what's in here are gonna be your instructions right here. And then they also give you two earpieces so that if you wanna go hands-free with your units, you can. You just plug this into the radios and then the other end goes to your ear with a microphone and earpiece. So you do get a pair of those. Now here is the whole kit. Really nice touch that the styrofoam is cut precisely to every accessory that's in here. Everything you need is included. So you don't have to bring anything extra and it all has its place and you can just take this whole thing with you. Now I haven't even really touched this thing yet and I've been dying to use it. They sent this to me about a couple of months ago so I can create some reels, take some photos and have some content ready for today's launch. But I also didn't wanna get this messed up because I still wanted this to look pretty new when I do this video. Now we'll talk about these radios in just a bit, but first let me go over the accessories that this thing comes with. Over here you have your two ways of charging. You have your AC and you have your DC for the vehicle. Now I am kind of wondering why they decided to go with USB-A ports for this because a lot of the stuff that Midland has been coming out with are USB-C, like the MXT575 and MXT275 radios that you mount in the vehicle. They all have USB-C ports on them. So 
kind of wondering why they went with USB A's on this one. Over here, you have your charging cables. You have your USB A that plugs into one of these. And then on the other end is a micro USB. And this can plug directly into the radio and charge it one at a time. Or you can use their rapid charger dock. And this also has like cheap branding on it. Looks really cool. I have one from my existing X Talkers that's not Jeep branded and it just sits in the garage so I can just basically take these radios and charge them directly. So really cool thing to have to just kind of drop them on there and leave them at home if you want to keep it charged up that way. Over here you have your two belt clips. You can attach them to the radios if you like to carry your radio on your belt or clip it to your pocket. And then underneath that you have your two rechargeable batteries. These are already pre-sealed for you, you just basically just drop these into the radio. Now for the bell of the ball, the actual radios themselves. I mean, look at that. They just look so good. Jeep branded X Talker two-way radios. I mean, if you're a Jeep lover, this has to excite you a little bit. You'll be out on the trails using these things. And if you're around people who are in love with Jeeps and they'll see this, they might be like, oh my God, where'd you get that? Or if you're around people who hate Jeeps, then you, you know, you can rub this in their face. Let's just not be elitist is what I'm saying. Now these will function just like Midland's other X-Talker radios with a ton of slight improvements. If you're already familiar with the X-Talker lineup, then these will be an easy transition for you. The real big main difference between the regular X-Talkers and these is that these will give you 36 channels. Normally these X-Talkers will go from channel one to 22, this goes from one all the way up to 36. These are also gonna give you five call alerts, three times faster charging, channel scan and weather scan, which is gonna come in really handy, especially here in Florida where we get hit with hurricanes and then afterwards the grid goes down and the only way for us to check conditions and weather and news is through a radio like this. This also gives you the option of using these on high or low power. Using it on high power gives you extended range but shorter battery life, but putting it in low power gives you shorter range but longer battery life. So if all you're doing is going on the trails and you're talking to the rest of your convoy and they're not that far from you, then put it on low power so you can conserve the battery and use it longer. But if let's say you need to talk to somebody further away, then that's when you might want to switch to high power. Now there is a downside to these that may or may not be a deal breaker for some of you. These are FRS radios and not GMRS. Now the upside to that, no license. You don't need a license to operate these the way you would with GMRS radios. And you can even give these to the kids and have them run around camp and play with them. The downside, however, is that you're not gonna get the higher wattage that you would get with a GMRS radio. You're only gonna get FRS wattage. You can still use these to communicate to people on GMRS though. Remember, the channels on here are from one to 36. GMRS channels runs from one to seven and then 15 to 20. So as long as you're both on the same channel, you'll be able to communicate. The only difference is that you're not going to get the same higher wattage as the GMRS user would. So for example, if we were both on, let's say, channel 17, and you're using this to talk to me on my MXT575 GMRS radio that's mounted in the vehicle, we'll still hear each other, but I'm just broadcasting at a higher wattage. Now, on the trail, you're not even gonna be able to tell the difference. I mean, you're just like right there. But in long distances, I'll be able to transmit further and clearer with GMRS than you would with FRS. So is it worth getting these? I mean, I think so, especially if you love Jeeps. I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? But on the trail, I always say that it's good to have a vehicle-mounted radio so that you can transmit further but then sometimes someone needs to step out of the vehicle to spot you through an obstacle or you're around camp and you wanna be able to use handhelds or if you're hiking, uh, you wanna be able to take handhelds with you, you can't take vehicle mounted ones with you, then these work just fine for that. Again, you're not gonna be needing to broadcast further away with these things. I'm hoping that if that's something you need to do, then you'll have like more powerful radios for that. But Having these, having some handhelds with you in your vehicle, these are great, again, for someone spotting you, hiking, those type of situations. These are perfect, especially if you really, really love the Jeep brand. But if nothing else, if you're a diehard Jeep lover, collection item, you might not even use them. You just wanna have them because you love Jeep. They're special edition, and one day they're not gonna have these anymore, and I wanna be able to say, man, I have a pair of mint condition, never been used, Jeep branded 
Midland X Talker two-way radios. I think that's just worth it in and of itself. But anyway, that's it. I'm keeping this video short. I'm not gonna go through the whole process on how to use this thing. When you get this, go to the instructions. You can figure it out, you're grown. I'm actually scrambling to film the content for this and then edit it so that I can release it because if you notice, I'm releasing this video on a day that I don't normally release a video. In fact, I just released a video three days ago and I'm releasing this now because these hit the market today and I want you guys to know about them because if this is what you want, if this is something you want, you need to get on there right away so you can get it before they sell out. Thank you once again to Midland for sending these over to me. I mean, look at these, they look so good. I'm never getting rid of these. I am keeping these forever, collection item, all that good stuff. You guys are killing it in the game right now with all these releases that you guys have. And I'm just honored that you've been sending it to me before it hits the market for me to test out and review for you. And I cannot wait to see what else you guys have in store. Now for the rest of you, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also click that notification bell so you can be informed when we release new videos, especially on days like today when we're releasing a video to inform you about a product that just hit the market and you might wanna know about it. And if it moves you, support us on Patreon. It gives you access to our live streams. It gives you access to some of our videos before everyone else gets to see them. And it also helps out this channel so we can continue to create more content like this. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time.